Good morning, good morning, man. What's happening with my peeps, man? Real easy, man. What's good with you? Um, it's hotter than fish grease in this motherfucker, bro. Real talk, bro. God damn. I don't be understanding this shit, bro. This is gonna warm it. See, the cold part about it, it be hot. High, but then it'll start raining, though. Or we'll have fucking clouds and shit. This global warming shit is fucking everything up, bro. The global warming is really alternating, you know what I'm saying, the seasons. We're not getting rain, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're not getting rain adequately enough. And yeah, we're not getting sun the same, so I'm glad that it is hot, I really don't like the heat like that, I like it in between, but as long as I got AC, you know what I'm saying, I'll be good, you feel me, you know, a nigga like me starts sweating, that's because I'm out of shape, so once I get this gut health, see, make sure everybody your gut, I mean, the gut health is very, very, very important to your overall health, all your cancers and everything, liver, and all that stuff, heart problems, it all comes from the gut, you know what I'm saying? And that all comes from the gut. You feel me? So make sure your gut is right. Which I need to get my shit. I need to get my shit right. But we it's a work in progress, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you're eating healthy. Make sure you're juicing. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you're drinking your smoothies, your green smoothies. Getting a lot of antioxidants, vitamin C. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, and eating a lot of green foods. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about that moldy shit y'all niggas be eating. That, that molded ass cheese. Stay away from a lot of dairy products too. You know what I'm saying? Stay away from a lot of dairy products, bro. Because you know it's an attack on, you know what I'm saying, our people. It's an attack on the American people for population control through the food industry, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of this food and shit don't taste the way it used to taste back in the day, bro. Nothing. None of your favorite foods taste the same. You know what I'm saying? As it did back in the day. So make sure when you cook it, make sure you use lemon or some sort of citrus, you know what I'm saying, marinade or whatever. Just sprinkle some lemon or some, some lime across your motherfucking food. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And kill kill all them damn impurities, man. You feel me? But anyway, this ain't no motherfucking health channel. But even though I can go into that route, I can go that route if I, if I wanted to. Um, but I just want to salute all my peeps, bro. You know what I'm saying? Salute to everybody. I hope everybody has a, a blessed and safe and productive summer. You know what I'm saying? And, and their children and their families. Make sure you put your children in extracurricular activities. Some STEM, you know what I'm saying? Some, some STEM classes. You feel me? Because we need that. Science, technology, engineering, and math, bro. That's what operate the basis of, of this world. You know what I'm saying? How everything operates. You feel what I'm saying? Based off of those things. You feel me? You want to be able to own and be an owner. You don't want to have to work and punch nobody's clock. You get what I'm saying? So, um, you want to make sure that you keep you keep yourself engaged, you know what I'm saying, to what's going on uh, around you. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure that your children is staying engaged and not on these motherfucking tablets and phones and shit like that bro these computers um shit if they gonna be on a the computer they should be taking that motherfucker apart and building a new one learning how to add more memory to that motherfucker learning what the motherfucking you know what i'm saying with the whole basis and like a motherboard and how to build their own shit you feel me computer engineering and shit like that you feel me because we already know that the devil is here to rob, kill, steal, and destroy, man. So we can't even give him that. We can't even give him that justice. We can't give him that motherfucking authority over our lives like that. You feel what I'm saying? So we gotta make sure that we helping each other out. You know what I'm saying? Make, make sure that everybody being positive. Make sure we loving on each other. You feel me? Because it's a lot, a lot, a lot of evil and wicked shit going on out here. And they're using us to display those acts of stupidity and violence against one another. You see what I'm saying? It's always something going on. There's always a mass shooting. There's always, you know what I'm saying? 
some sort of um, catastrophic, tragic events that's happening on a daily. You get what I'm saying? And, and it's sad from children being left in the car. You know what I'm saying? To, you know what I'm saying? Kidnappings and human trafficking. And, um, you know, uh, violence. Gang related violence over stupid shit, over blocks and over a piece of property and, and, and land, you know what I'm saying, that we don't even have any ownership over. You feel what I'm saying? So so many so many motherfuckers out here addicted to, to drugs, addicted to the game and all this other shit though. But but when I have children and bring their children up, you know what I'm saying, in the same light. You know what I'm saying? Or in, in the same type of environment that they're living in. You know what I'm saying? Doing the same type of things. Teaching their children at a young age how to fucking know all the rap songs. And know all the motherfucking dances. And put their children on TikTok. Teach them the slang language at a young age. But they can't count. They can't read. So when they grow up, boop, they drop out of school in the 8th grade. You feel what I'm saying? They start banging and shit. And then when they lose their child, now they got mental health issues. Now they want to go and shoot the whole damn world up because you mad, but it's really your fault because you didn't raise them in a motherfucking environment that was conducive, you know what I'm saying, to them becoming a young king, which were the, which they were born to be. So we need to understand what's really going on around us, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This shit is way bigger than dribbling a basketball, throwing a football, you know what I'm saying? Catching the motherfucking baseball, swinging a bat, kicking a soccer ball, putting on a hockey puck. You know what I'm saying? Fucking swinging a golf club. It's way bigger than this shit. Even though that's an outlet for most of us. You know what I'm saying? We always turn to sports and athletics so we can cope, you know what I'm saying, with our day-to-day -day realities. But you have to really put everything in a proper perspective and understand that we are in our last days, bro. It's an attack on us. You know what I'm saying? On the American people, especially black people, bro. We are under attack and we've been under attack. But we don't have any more Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? We don't have any more people fighting for our liberties and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, we just so fucking twisted and gone and easy and easy to be manipulated and believe whatever motherfucker tell us because they throw flash a motherfucking a fat ass stack of money in front of our face you know what I'm saying and, and some pussy that we'll do anything it doesn't even matter that's how lost and gone we are you feel what I'm saying and if we don't change and get connected to the right things bro this shit it, it's it's gonna get a lot worse you know what I'm saying? Before it gets better. It's going to get a lot worse before it gets even a little bit better. So we have to make sure that we're connected to the right things, bro. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers need to get saved. Motherfuckers really need to start reading their Bible. Motherfuckers really need to start worshiping. Whatever form of worship, whether you're doing something positive with your brothers and sisters, family members, with the community, you know what I'm saying? Outreach programs at the Boys and Girls Club. Becoming a mentor, big brother, big sister programs, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a whole bunch of different things that we can do. You feel what I'm saying? But what we need to start doing is staying connected to the only source, the source that created all this shit. See, but these evil motherfuckers out here that run everything, you know what I'm saying, that we consume and everything that we use, you feel what I'm saying? These evil motherfuckers, see, they use, just like the devil did, they use motherfucking um they use the bible to twist it to make you believe in certain things to where it becomes like a cult like following you get what i'm saying because they didn't turn religion and everything christianity into a business bro they turned it into a business you know what i'm saying everything is about oh we gotta go give to this person we gotta go give to this person we gotta give to this person and that person the motherfucking shit that motherfucking person going on world tours, traveling the country. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they speak the word. Yeah, they speak the word. You know what I'm saying? Because they're theologians. You know what I'm saying? And they studied the Bible. You feel what I'm saying? But how many people that we know have studied the word to get you to talk and make it all sound sweet? But they live a life that's not, you know what I'm saying, indicative. 
you feel me? Uh, or one that relates to what they're trying to teach and convey. You feel me? See, you can put it in a pretty bow, but at the end of the day, when you rip the ball off and open the box, you know what I'm saying, a snake jump out and bite you. So you have to understand what's really tied, on, what's really in, up underneath that pretty bow. You know what I'm saying? You have to be careful. You have to be careful. You can do your own studying. You can do your own worshiping. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we should go to church every now and again, though, but I don't want people to get sucked into church, 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 church. You know what I'm saying? Only because you have to play play it safe because it's a lot of churches. That's, a church is really a business, bro. Yes, it's a house of God, but shit, we've seen a lot of people worship out of the house because it's really all about the word. You feel what I'm saying? We've seen a lot of people worship out of the house. So we have to be careful on, you know, where we spend most of our time, who we're giving all of our time to. Because time is valuable and time is money. You get what I'm saying? Time, you can't get back time. So you have to make sure that you're doing all the right things, you know what I'm saying, in order to maximize the time that you do have. You feel what I'm saying? Because we know our children, our young kings and queens out here, they need us to be present. They need us to be around. See, they're learning half of the time from motherfuckers that don't even look nothing like you. They're learning certain shit from motherfuckers that really don't care about them the way you probably would love and care about them. And that's only because we got to sit here and go to work for dinner 8 to 14 hours, you know what I'm saying, just to put gas in our motherfucking car. Work two or three jobs just to get back and forth to work. And I ain't even mentioned paying all the motherfucking house bills. And, and then all the necessities that's outside of your regular bills. And then all the things that you might want. You feel me? Because everybody likes to dress and look nice. And they like to have nice things. You feel what I'm saying? So we really need to start. We need to turn this motherfucker into another Black Wall Street. Every city. You feel what I'm saying? Where, wherever there's a bunch of black people, turn that motherfucker into Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? Turn that motherfucker into motherfucking Mobile, Alabama, motherfucking Charlottesville. You feel what I'm saying? South Carolina. The old school, bro. <clears throat> we gotta start thinking on that motherfucking level. We sitting here on motherfucking on YouTube and the internet. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Thugging, calling each other every name in the book because a motherfucker don't agree with a motherfucking tape. You feel me? Trying to find a disagreement. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, when real life kick in, you're like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I made myself look like an idiot. Was it really that serious? Is it that deep? Like, you know what I'm saying? And I understand that this YouTube shit, it has become an outlet. Just like sports have become an outlet. Has been an outlet for years for motherfuckers to cope with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the harsh realities that they live in. I understand YouTube sort of provides that same sort of escape and getaway. You feel me? And I appreciate everybody that's out here doing their thing on YouTube. You feel what I'm saying? I try to support as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? I, I try to come through and spread love. You know what I'm saying? In a really easy way. Um, I try to donate. You know what I'm saying? As much as I can. You feel what I'm saying? But shit, it's tough on me too. You feel me? I got a family. I'm raising, you know what I'm saying? Children. I have a wife. And, you know what I'm saying? Other family members, brothers and sisters, and nieces and nephews that depend on me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to make it just like anybody else. But I'm always spread love and positivity all the time. I'm always going to try to encourage and motivate and inspire the next generation of motherfucking kings and queens to be greater than us. You feel me? That's our job. Our job is to give back. You can see, a lot of people is in it, you know what I'm saying, for self-gain. That's a motherfucking selfish-ass mentality. And God didn't put you on this earth, you know what I'm saying, to seek self-gratification. He put you on this earth to help people. You know what I'm saying? Within helping people, that should make you happy. You should get instant gratification from putting a smile on somebody else's face. Somebody that's in, in dire need. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure that, that we're like we're doing all that. Make sure we're dotting all our I's and crossing all our T's. Um, you feel what I'm saying? Because really it's not about us. It's not about us, bro. Real talk. It's not about you. It's not about me. You feel me? It's about them. And once we start living with that type of mentality, then I think we'll start being able to make some 
uh, are some important and key changes that's necessary in order to move the needle. And, and, you know what I'm saying? And, and push this motherfucking uh, and push this motherfucker forward. You feel what I'm saying? That's, that's what it's really all about. It's not about going along, getting along. You know what I'm saying? What's the hot take? Just so I can make some money. Say some stupid ass shit that's disrespectful and offensive. You feel what I'm saying? Try to take motherfucking food and money off the next man plate out of his household. Just so you can make a little bit. Steven ain't motherfucker. And the rest of you motherfuckers. Skip Bayless looking mug. You motherfucking, um, you motherfucking tails from the crib and crib keeper looking motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker don't know shit. Nick Wright, bitch ass, don't know nothing about basketball. A lot of these motherfuckers, Kendrick Park, a lot of these motherfuckers come on TV and don't know nothing about basketball, bro. They just come on TV just to hate. You know what I'm saying? From the Steve and the motherfucking Matt Barnes and the motherfucking Steve Captain Jacks, nigga. All you motherfuckers do all this shit, nigga, just for some bread. The motherfucking glow stick, nigga. Uh, uh, what's his name? Chris Broussard and motherfucking Rob Parker and, you know what I'm saying? All these motherfuckers. See, they take all the real people off television. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to T. Price. He sent me a video interview with Etan Thomas Podcast. The Etan Thomas Podcast. Um, and he had Baron Davis on there. And Baron Davis and Etan Thomas, you know what I'm saying, was uh, talking some real shit. And, he, and they'll never bring motherfucking Etan Thomas or Baron Davis on television because they're going to say real shit and they're going to challenge everything at the motherfucking, this, this weird media out here that they stand for. What I'm saying, and yeah, motherfucking, make sure y'all go follow T Price Podcast, like, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, show that kid some love over here, man. Even though we already get love, but you know what I'm saying? Go uh, flood his shit up. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Flood everybody's shit up. So, um, we have to make sure that we're doing our due diligence, man. We have to make sure that we're doing our due diligence, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it's much bigger than us. Um, we, we have a, a, a job to do, and we have to make sure that we do that to the best of our abilities. And if you feel like you can't give anymore, just give just a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to push that shit forward. You feel me? Dedicate yourself to something bigger than yourself, man. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. We are capable of doing it. We give most of our time and energy and money to the wrong sources. We invested in the wrong shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't you want to invest in something that's going to change something for the better? You feel me? Don't you want to receive residual love and residual income? You get what I'm saying? Residual love and residual income, that's living the American dream, bro. When you can spread your motherfucking seeds and plant them seeds out there, bro, and watch them grow and blossom into something beautiful, and then that shit come back in abundance. You feel what I'm saying? That's the most beautiful gift that God can give man or woman, period. That's the most beautiful gift that God can give man. Just for somebody to be like, you know what? You really inspired me. You really helped me, man. Because I was going down the wrong path. And I made a couple of bad choices. But just because, you know what I'm saying, you inspired me. You feel me? You gave me some great advice. You encouraged me. You feel me? You held me accountable. You feel me? You helped me. You know what I'm saying? Financially. Thank you. I love and appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? For what you did. That right there, that's the American dream. That's the American dream. If we can tell each other that on a daily basis, you know what I'm saying? And not say, fuck you, nigga, you motherfucking punk ass bitch ass nigga. I'll kill you, nigga. Nigga, fuck your mama, nigga, fuck your daddy, nigga, fuck your children, nigga, fuck all you. See, if we can get away from that and just say, brother, I love you and I appreciate you, bro. If we can start saying that on a day-to-day -day basis, I want everybody to practice that, bro. Tell somebody, bro, family member, friend, you know what I'm saying? Tell somebody, man, you know what? I love and appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I love and appreciate you. Because God is going to put people in your life for a specific reason. But you have to identify what that reason is. And you have to get make the most out of it. You know what I'm saying? He'll put people in your life for, for different seasons. And it might not turn into something that's long lasting. He might have just put that person in your life for that season. You feel what I'm saying? 
And then he'll remove certain motherfuckers from your life. You know what I'm saying? Because it's needed. See, not everybody supposed to be in your life, in your circle. Not everybody. But they'll put them there. He'll God will put them there and use them. You know what I'm saying? As a vessel, because it's something that you need to get from that particular relationship. You feel what I'm saying? Or a situation. So, you know what I'm saying? Pay, pay attention, man, to the signs. You know what I'm saying? And make sure that we love and appreciate each other, man. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to love and appreciate another another man. You know what I'm saying? Another woman. And this ain't no LGBTQ elemental peace shit, nigga. You feel me? It's okay to tell your brother that I love him. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no romantic fruit, fruit in the booty ass shit. See? You know what I'm saying? My love and my motherfucking uh, admiration is not confused. It's not twisted up like a pretzel. You know what I'm talking about? So, it's the real elite. That's a little word for the real elite. I need to start getting back to my motivational, you know what I'm saying, type videos. Even though I love sports, but it, it, the motivation is always needed, bro. So, um. I love you guys, man. I hope everybody has a blessed day. Be safe. Be productive. You know what I'm saying? Love on your people, man. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get at y'all. You know what I'm saying? Love, live.